Oh, no, sorry, it's on the other end, Alex. Um, obviously, Ed, uh, SA now in Melbourne coming back. Um, do you get a bit of state pride as well when you're back for something like that? Yeah, certainly. I'm looking forward to the day the South Aussies can take on the Vicks on a state of origin game. But just to be back here, I guess up the Adelaide Oval, I was just saying to Jordan earlier, I came here as a young eight-year-old watching um, some state games or SANFL grand finals, and now to have the opportunity to, to be the first game of gather round uh, with Jordan's Crows, it's yeah, it's a great opportunity for our footy club. And as an SA lad at heart, um, I'm super proud to, to be here. Alex Stephen made quite comfortable at training. I know he was in live session this morning. Yeah. Did he give any indication that he was right to go? Oh, it's, Stevie five days ago was giving that same indication. He's come with the group from the, the whole trip, and um, yeah, we've got to see how everything plays out, how he recovers tonight. But he's a huge important part of where we want to get to come to, uh, tomorrow night. So. Yeah, hopefully the big fella can be out there. What's the other around Jack Viney with his illness? Nah, he's just, yeah, sick today. Keep away from the group just to make sure the whole group doesn't come down with anything. Well, Steve get like a bit of trust. He played the, the granny with a big tear in his hammy. If he puts the, the hand up, you think um, Simon will say, yeah, I'll back you in? Yeah, absolutely. And that's something that our footy club prides our players on. If you take the field, you've got to be ready to go and give a great contest. And, uh, Big Maisie will, will no doubt do that and as you touched on before, he's been in this position before, players each week are in these positions where you've got a little niggly injury and it's up to the ultimate player to make the right decision there. How's the ground the Adelaide Oval? Does that suit your team? Yeah, every time we come to the Adelaide Oval, we know whether it's Port Adelaide or the Crows, it's a highly contested game, uh, smaller boundary compared to our home deck at the MCG, so it's a great challenge. and. With, with what Jordan was saying earlier, we know that the Crows are going to bring their best tomorrow night. So from our point of view, we've we got to be on from the start. And it's just such an exciting opportunity for our footy club to, to kick off, gather around with our fans all across Australia watching on. You've been a part of this group for a long time now. You've been the friendship well, it's a big deal. Is this the most bond that it's been? Obviously, there's been a lot of external pressure and controversy. And we saw how much that win meant on the weekend. Is this the strongest you think it's been? Yeah, certainly. It's hard to compare year to year. but. All I can say is from living it each week, each game, there's a high level of connection and care within the whole playing group. And for the example you used previously, Jack Viney's 200th game, uh, he came in as an 18 year old when the club was on the ropes. Uh, we didn't really stand for much. And to see the transformation of the footy club and the weight Jack's had to put on his shoulders with the footy club, their moments we'll look back on this year and use that as energy um, as a connection piece to continue to drive where we want to get this football club to in 2024. The mantra of letting your, your actions talk, uh, you seem to all be buying into it, is that accurate? Yeah, definitely, and it's something that I hope our Melbourne fans out there, when they come to the game, whether that's in Melbourne or here in Adelaide, they know what they're going to get from us, and they might identify certain players that do certain things, but that's something we want to be highly renowned for, is each week we rock up with the same intensity, and. The game will throw different challenges at us. It's just how we handle them in the high, high pressures. What sort of treatment have you get from the Crows players over the last few years, Alex? It's going back with a bit of a little moment with Will Hamill here, but uh, do you ever forget, or is there still a bit of spark? Yeah, no, nah, certainly, no, nah, not not nothing since then. Uh, it was a few years ago now, and I, I do know a couple of the Crows boys. Every time I, I see them, it's always a good catch up, and yeah, I, I I love my footy, so I do follow footy, and to see the Adelaide teams doing well, it's always nice to see as well, because. I know how much this state loves their footy. Have you ever been close to coming back here, mate? Nah, nah, never. Do you, uh, do you keep Harrison Petty away from the Crows boys when you spend leads for a return home? Yeah, yeah. No, we've uh, keep, kept the night close eye on Petty, but he's loving his footy um, in this year in Melbourne, and he's playing such an important role for us uh, this year, whether that's forward or back. And it's something for Petty. You know, we hope he, he stays long term at Melbourne, but right now where we are, we just want him to be playing the best footy in our team, and we're looking forward to that tomorrow night. It's obviously a bit of a different build-up, staying in the same state. How has it been just in Adelaide the whole time as a team? Yeah, it's been fantastic to, to have the whole group with the families as well. We've got a lot of fathers um, within our group, so to have all the kids with us, it's been, been a great way to, I guess, show them what a normal week looks like within the footy club. And we went down Glenelg to do some recovery after our previous match. And as an Adelaide boy, got to show off Glenelg, got some great weather. And it's just been a great week to get everyone together and. Now we're coming together for a big challenge tomorrow night. How much relief did you take out of Saturday night? How is, did you feel like this group is ready to go right to the pointy end again? Yeah, it's uh, geez, that's an early finals question in this <laughs> round at this time of year. Where we are right now is we want to just continue to build each week um, 
from the, the game previously, we we're very proud of how we handled the high pressure situation, but we understand we weren't at our best uh, there. So we want to tidy up a few things in our game and uh, yeah, that starts tomorrow night with the Adelaide Crows outfit that are, are going to be coming strong. You mentioned it before, do you expect Jordan and the Crows to be firing given there's a bit on the line? Yeah, no doubt. And no matter how they've gone previously, every time you play the Crows here at Adelaide Oval, they bring the heat, they bring the contest and that's what we'll expect tomorrow night and we can't wait for it.